Let's head on out of here. I think this way. I think this way there's something. Ah, yes, okay. This is where the hyperbolic time chamber is. Unfortunately, we can't use that right now, as I do believe we have to fight a battle to get in there, and I am in no shape okay, at all okay. to actually beat the person that I need to at the moment. I'm pretty much just going to start enraging at this point to, uh... I'm just going to keep on enraging over and over again until I get Super Saiyan, as I can get it at some point. It's usually not that difficult to get. There was Raditz. We'll have to fight him soon. <laughs> Alright, yes. Master Roshi has given us a quest to fight Raditz, Goku's brother. But like I just said, we're not particularly at the point where we could fight him at the moment. We'd need Super Saiyan to do it. And we'd probably have to master it first as well. And there we go, we now have Super Saiyan, which unlocks a few more uh, options for us, transform and revert to your base before him. Uh, at the moment right now, my Kai is draining about 13%, as long as I stay in this form, uh, it'll s eventually start decreasing the amount it's taking, and once it stops decreasing altogether, then I've mastered it. At the moment, it's actually weaker than K.O. Ken. Once it's fully mastered, it should be over a thousand PL from where I am right now. I really doubt I could beat Radis like this, but... I can give it a shot. <laughs> nope. He's like, yeah, get out of my face. Bam, one hit and I'm dead. Basically, at this point, I'm going to begin training on King Kai's planet under its gravity. I only get one experience per walk, basically. And one, one power level uh, increase for every step, for the most part. So yes, this is going to take a while. It, uh, I can keep on doing this basically until level 30 where it stops completely. I think at level 20 or 25 you actually speed up because you're getting used to the gravity. After level 30 you have to go to the hyperbolic time chamber. Okay. I have gotten about 10 more levels. We now have another form of training. King Kai wants us to catch Gregory. He's roaming around a bit somewhere. I keep on hearing him from time to time, but I don't usually see him. We're over halfway to the requirements for uh, Super Saiyan 2 already. I think it's a bit... Okay, there he was. Where'd he go? There he is. Basically, if you're lucky, he'll run right at you and you'll 
pretty much catch him pretty easily. Just like that. So let's head back to King Kai. I actually have enough uh, power level at this point to where I don't have to stop every 20 seconds to uh, power back up. Looks like I'm going to be able to walk all the way back to King Kai without having the power back up. Yep. And what he gives us is the Spirit Bomb. Now the Spirit Bomb is basically your ace in the hole. The reason for this, it's basically a one-all attack where if you're about to die or if you want to kill somebody really quickly, you use it. It's a charge-up attack, which means it can be stopped by Dragon Fist or other stun attacks. Usually people don't you think to use that, though. Usually they either run away or try and punch you or something. <coughs> or try and finish you off before you can throw, throw it. When it's fully charged, it's the most powerful attack you can pretty much throw at somebody. If somebody is standing right next to you, though, it's going to damage you the same amount, so it could, it can be, it could end up to be a uh, mutual destruction attack if you're not careful. Alright. I think it's pretty much time for our rematch of Radis. KO Ken! At this point... I can probably beat Radis without even going Super Saiyan. Eventually, you also lose... You eventually lose Simple Blast out of your techniques, and instead you get uh, an attack that does four blast at once in all directions. This eventually also gets upgraded to a blast that does it in every single direction too. Well the one I have right now does it left, right, up and down. The most upgraded one does it in literally every direction. Diagonally or not. But I don't think you get that until you get Super Saiyan 3 or so. All right. Roshi. He wants us to go talk to King Kai. Well, we've already talked to King Kai, so. Well, yeah, it's kind of odd to have this quest already here because by this point in time, you've probably already met King Kai a couple times. Yeah, there's also Goku here, who will, I th think... No, he just tells us something. He tells us to use our Enrage ability and hope for the best. Well, we've already done that, and we've reached Super Saiyan, so that kind of... That's kind of mute. Besides the islands with the more, more powerful enemies on it, I don't think we've been... I think we've been everywhere. We can also eventually get to Namek, which I do not recommend going to Namek until you're at least uh, a mastered Super Saiyan 2, as you'll get absolutely wrecked otherwise. You'll probably get wrecked as a Super Saiyan 2 as well from most enemies, but I think you could probably fight a couple there. At this point, I'm two-shotting Cybermen from where I was before, where I had to take like five or six hits to kill him. Oh, look, it's Nappa.
Yeah, he did 10,000 damage to me with one punch. Wonderful. Well, now we at least get to meet King Kai like I wanted to. Or not. We can end up down here. Great. Um, basically, all you have to do is if you fall off Snake Away, you have to find a fruit down here. And go to these guys. Usually the fruit aren't this close by. You usually have to find them. Like, actually find them. Oh, uh, okay. That quest is complete. I guess I probably could have tried to talk to him beforehand before I even had to die. And see if it would complete on its own anyways, but... Whatever. Alright. I think maybe Balma and Briefs might have some quest for us to do at this point. I need a new belt. I want this red one. Nice. Eventually I'll probably replace it with a weighted belt, but for now, black and red. Okay. I decided to turn in for the night soon after that, so let's go ahead and begin once again. Now, what we're looking for at the moment are the Dragon Balls, which should be around here somewhere. I probably should have been smart and done it last night. Oh, wait, I found a capsule. Bring it back to Dr. Briefs. Well, we'll do that eventually. <coughs> now, Dragon Balls tend to be on the island. Sometimes they're out in the middle of nowhere in the water, but that tends to be rare. <coughs> Usually, if you look around the islands, you're going to find them. If someone else <coughs> is searching for them, too, then you're going to have a bad time trying to get them all. Go away, Raditz. No one likes you. <laughs> Haven't found any so far. I don't know, I'll probably find at least one or two, though. Even if, it's, even if there is somebody trying to find them as well. The best spot to start looking is at the um, the city because that's a fairly big landmass and there tends to be at least one or two Dragon Balls on it. Dragon Balls tend to not be on the island of Vegeta or the island with the um, the androids down here. I don't tend to see them pop up here. I have seen them in the waters near it, though. Oh, look, a comb. It'd be great if I could grab it. Oh, man, there's a lot of side men everywhere. Can I not grab this right now? I don't understand. Maybe I can only have one item at a time. Or wait. Ah, okay. You have to come and talk to him first before you can get the comb down there. There we go. And here's his comb back. That gives us 125 experience. Still no Dragon Balls though. I could probably take the capsule back to Dr. Briefs now as well. Alright. Here you go. 